Daniel Dubois stops Jarrell Big Baby Miller in the 10th round, ladies and gentlemen. Godly. And listen, it was a great fight from beginning to end. Uh, Jarrell Miller put that pressure on that he do. Listen, I'm going to tell you all this. Jarrell Miller, when you fight in Jarrell Miller, you're basically in an MMA fight. Um, very physical individual. Um, he's putting pressure on the whole night, the entire night. You know what I mean? It's hard to slow him down. But tonight just wasn't his night. Daniel Dubois, I feel like after uh, being in the ring with Usyk, you know, he realized that he has something. He's very, and he's a great fighter. He boxed a little bit and he banged a little bit. He got the job done tonight. Um, I felt like it was a back and forth fight up until probably like the sixth round. Jarrell Miller definitely slowed down. You can see it that his conditioning wasn't up to par. Um, Daniel Dubois just continued punching, continued moving, you know, moving his head, smothering him at times. Even though Jarrell Miller was putting on pressure, he wasn't able to find his mark when he wanted to. Uh, Daniel Dubois continued landing shots. You know, he, he picked it up, I believe, like in the seventh round, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten, he got the knockout. I mean, crazy performance. Um, great fight between the two, though. Big respect to both fighters. But Big Baby Miller just wasn't able to perform tonight like we've seen him in the past. I believe it's due to his conditioning. He's gotten older. You know what I mean? He's not able to, you know, to, to put the, you know, pick it up like he once was. Daniel Dubois is a young man who's still getting better. You know what I mean? He understands that he, he's been through some things, but he didn't let it stop him. Big respect to both heavyweights. I'm Greg Hackett. You can get with me at Greg Hackett 86 on Instagram, Greg Hackett 215 on X, aka Twitter, Greg Hackett on Facebook. I appreciate y'all. Thank you.